بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome dear viewers to a new video about pronunciation Today we have something, something new about stress and we would like to talk in details about the word stress It's very important to throw the light on the importance of music and sounds in English English is not like the other languages. It has its own music and it has its own rhythm. For example, the Japanese language, it doesn't have this kind of music. What I mean by this, that the Japanese language has the same music, the same sound for the whole parts of the world. There is no stress at all. All the parts of the world pronounced in the same quality of the sound but English it has its own music and it has own vocal music it means that part of the word maybe not all the parts of the word so one word should have what we call the stress and the other part should not be stress this is very important the native speaker recognize this naturally because it is his own language it is his mother tongue language so when he talks he talks freely and in a matter of nature it, it it doesn't mean that he has to learn the music of the language it is his own language but for the foreigners the people who would like to learn english they should know that music and intonation and the stress uh, all these things are very important to let the others understand your message and your message will be delivered in a good manner before we start talking about stress today we have many different parts of speech for example the nouns adjectives verbs compound nouns so how can we recognize the position of the stress and this is very important because as you know we said before in a previous video that if you change the stress in a different position of the syllable of a word maybe the meaning will be changed and your message will be delivered in a wrong manner so you have to be careful about this before we start, we would like to say something about word stress. A word can only have one stress. So there is only one stress in a word, and the other syllables are not a stress. So this is very important. But it is always a much smaller stress. Sometimes we have a secondary stress in the same word, but it is smaller than the primary one. But we have only primary stress in a word only vowels are stress not consonants so you have to be careful about this stress only on the vowel sounds not the consonant sounds every rule has its own exceptions so you have to be careful about the rules and if there is something is not uh, clear for you you have to check that in your uh, dictionary your dictionary is the only guide for you to discover what is strange for you so today inshallah we will continue talking about the rules of stress so let's start with talking about the nouns suppose that we have a noun and this noun has two syllable which one should be stressed and which one should be distressed usually we put the stress on the first syllable if we have a word you have to put the stress on the first syllable of this word which contains two syllable and as you can see on the screen here we have many different examples for example window window it has two syllable so we stress on the first one which is colored in red window april problem so as you see the mark of stress the primary stress on the first syllable of the word and the other syllable is unstressed 
let's move to another rule. Let's talk about the compound words. What I mean by compound words, the words which consists of two words. If the compound is a noun, the stress is usually on the first part of the compound. So if we have a word, and this word is a compound one, so we should stress the first part of the word. For example, waterfall. We say waterfall. So the first syllable is pronounced louder in pitch and higher in sound. Waterfall. We don't say waterfall. We say waterfall. The next word, credit card. Credit card. The next one, greenhouse. Greenhouse. As you see, the stress are on the first part of the compound word. Let's move to another rule. If we have a verb, not a noun, not a compound noun, we have a verb, and this verb consists of two syllables. Usually, we put the stress on the last syllable, but in the noun, we put on the first syllable. But talking about the verb, the syllable should be on the, on the second, in talking about the verb. For example, begin begin, believe, believe, involve, involve. As you see, the red part of the word is the second syllable, so we have the mark of a stress on the second syllable of the word. And this stress is called a primary stress, because the mark is on the syllable, not under the syllable. Okay. Uh, let's talk about compound words. If the compound is an adjective or a verb, not two nouns as we uh, learned before. If the compound is an adjective or a verb, the stress is usually on the second part of the compound. For example, middle, middle is an adjective, aged. So we say middle-aged the stress on the second part, on the second part of the word. Well behaved, well behaved, overtake, overtake. You see the red part is a stress uh, in these compound words. Let's move to another rule, talking about the words ending in T-I-O-N or S-I-O-N. Any word ends in these letters, T-I-O-N or S-I-O-N. So, the stress should be put on the syllable before T-I-O-N or S-I-O-N. Let's have some examples. Revolution, revolution, lution. This is L-U, the, the, the syllable before the T-I-O-N. It should be stress. Revolution, discussion, discussion, intention, intention. As you see, the letters in red are stress, and these are the syllable before the T I O N or S I O N. Okay, let's move to another rule words ending in I C or I C A L. Put the stress on the syllable before IC or ICAL. For example, photographic, photographic, graphic, electrical, electrical, automatic, automatic, automatic. As you see on the screen, the letters in red are the syllables before the IC and ICAL. Okay, let's move to another rule. What about the words ending in I-T-Y? I-T-Y. Put the stress on the syllable before I-T-Y. Okay, let's have some examples. Electricity. Electricity. Tricity. This is the part which is stress. Security. Security. Humanity. Humanity as you see the stress on the syllable before the I-T-Y. 
uh, I think this is the end of our uh, video today and I hope you enjoy it and get something useful for you and we will continue talking inshallah about many different things about uh, intonation about uh, stress and this is going to be very good for anyone who would like to speak English naturally and fluently uh, till we meet again I hope you enjoy your time thank you so much for your watching Please subscribe to receive more videos about uh, Correct Your English and we hope you enjoy every video of our, uh, you, our YouTube channel. Thank you so much and see you next time inshallah. Astaudi'akumullah wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.